Jaguar, Stupid Rex, you idiots. Corbin. I can't hear. Ah, good. And you follow on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, Juicy Compton. Look, he comes out of the volcano. Sorry, Juicy. Do Juicy. Thank you very much. So, Patreon and follow on Twitter account. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> Uh, we were Why, why'd you joke or laugh in my ear? Yeah, it was just a laugh. This is a uh, stand-up uh, routine. Yes, same joke as always. Yep, sit down. Uh, it's called Indian Studying Abroad. Uh, no. but, but this is not a comedian we've ever seen before, so... Varun Thakur. Uh, and he is an Amazon uh, stand-up special, so... Cool. Uh, but uh, this one has been requested. So, we love to laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Loud and long and clear. Indian studying abroad. I'm not an Indian. I've never studied abroad. Yes, you have. Your mom, she's abroad. <laughs> you know, I went abroad to study filmmaking. I was in London for a year. Uh, when I spent the first six months trying to get them to pronounce my name right, because they're like, room, room, man. <laughs> I'm like, dude, just call me Tom, it's okay. <laughs> and I spent the next six months trying to explain to them what a Lota is doing in my toilet. That's always an awkward conversation, right? All my white friends would come and be like, Rune, why is there a plastic cup in your bathroom? What? 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 what uh, why is there a plastic cup? I clearly don't know. The thing is, when I pee, I get really thirsty, so I like to have a glass handy. <laughs> My first proper exposure to the British accent, I walk into school and this guy is looking at me. He looks at me like, make me pass to the power. <laughs> that was good. That was very good. Like, he passed me the power. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah, wah wah. Wah wah. Wah wah. You know the student hostel I stayed at, right? Decided to have a potluck so we all get to know each other. Now we were all supposed to cook food from our own country. I made poha and I took it for dinner. I'm like, what the fuck will these firans do? Fuck it. So, uh, I don't remember what the Chinese guy made, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't dead. <laughs> so I took a serving and it started running away from me. I'm like, hey, gate bande, mila dinner bhaagai. The French girl made the oeuvre like a silly musical. Because that's what the French people do, right? Make you eat shit you can't pronounce. Like, I'm like, hey, same to you. I'm like, hey, same to you. I like him a lot. But I wasn't any better, right? I only had a plate of poha with me and this white girl walks up, she's like, Vroom, what have you made? <laughs> <clears throat> These are flattened rice flakes with robust Indian spices mixed with sorted onions, with a dash of flame, a sprinkle of coriander and basil leaves. Fuck yeah! <laughs> But I was excited and I had to share it with someone, right? So I'm like, hey, Bangladeshi. I think I'm going to go I don't get that. I don't either. The Pakistani guy got really excited. He's like, you silly? Very good, yeah. How many entry points are there? Okay, okay. You can go to the boat, okay, okay. You can go to the police protection, police protection, okay. Clearly some cultural uh, stuff, we don't get. Sorry, we don't get that. And it was this girl's birthday, right? It was this girl's birthday. She's great, she called us all over. She's like, guys, you know what would be awesome? Is if all of y'all sang happy birthday to me in your own language. <laughs> great, because the American guy's like, happy birthday to you. The Chinese guy's like, have the phone, 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 whatever. I'm not being racist. Every country has the same tune for happy birthday. Now they're all looking at me. And I'm just standing there like a constipated Udit and I'm going Bari Bari Dini Bari Bari Dini Tum Jiyo Saro Saal Ye Meri Hai Happy Birthday To You Why couldn't we have the same tune for Happy Birthday? Did they not? I guess not. I guess not.
Now I'm interested in the Indian's happy birthday. I know. Do you not have the same happy birthday tune? Because that's news to us. And if for some reason the jokes in there were offensive to anybody, we don't know what they mean. We have no clue what any of those things were. Yeah. The culturally that he's making. Yeah, I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. Uh, uh, Dashi and a Pakistani, I guess, and I hope they weren't offensive. They might have been. It might be his shtick. It could be his shtick. Bill Burr has a shtick. And Bill Burr to uh, has, offend people. Yeah, but he gets away with it because he's so charming. Uh, that guy seemed pretty charming. He, I really like this I'll, guy a lot. I, he was hilarious in all the stuff we got. Yeah, the stuff we got. His and I'm rhythms, sure if we understood some of the other cultural things. It would have been hilarious. Probably so. It's not, it's not his fault that we didn't Not get at all. It. That's our fault. <laughs> we didn't. Yeah. Now I'm really interested, though. That, do you have a different tune for Happy Birthday? Yeah. Because I thought that was a universal Happy Birthday. I thought that was... I thought that, that was, was it. And it sang in each... Uh, maybe it's my naive Well, because in... May, yeah, but here's the, here's the reality of that. Here's the reality of that. What's the reality, Rick? The age of India versus the age of the United States uh, and the age of the song. But Happy China's birthday. old too, though. That's true. And they would sing Happy Birthday. Maybe they just sing the, the American version. version. They might, or, yeah, that's just the more internationalized version. India's yeah. been wishing people Happy Birthday before we ever existed. It sounded like... Was he actually singing that birthday? <laughs> this has been yeah. like an analysis of... What's the birthday song? <laughs> he was really funny. But no... <laughs> But now I'm actually just interested. I am like, too. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. How? Let's see. He has 190,000. Uh, but that means nothing. Have you ever, this is a completely different topic, but it makes me think of it whenever I see stand-up comedians. Have you ever considered doing stand-up comedy? Mm -hmm. Have you ever done stand-up comedy? Nope. Will you ever do stand-up comedy? Probably not. Because, I mean, I would, I, I, it's been one of the things I've always thought I would, it would be really fun. Yeah. But I'm not a writer. Getting mm -hmm. getting these thoughts on mm -hmm. paper mm -hmm. has never been something that's been a gotcha. strong suit of mine. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, I can, and I feel like my style of comedy is more conversational. Mm -hmm. Like I I can, I can tack on in terms of uh, yes, like conversation wise, yes. improv, just improv, riffing, yes. stuff like that. So I don't know if like. And I, I feel like if I did stand up, it would be just, oh, God, I hate people. We need yeah. another plague. Yeah. <laughs> it would be. You would be just, dark. Just me. It's one of those comedians when you go up there, he's just like, uh, yeah. so I didn't die today. Yeah. <laughs> you would absolutely be dark. <laughs> that's, a, that's the humor I find funny. It's true. Uh, also, the offensive stuff. Yeah. I, it's very difficult for me to be, like, even if he was being offensive to other people, it's very hard for me to be offended by a stand-up comedian mm -hmm. because I know what they're doing. They're doing a complete joke. Mm -hmm. It's nothing they're saying is serious. And so that's, uh, I can, I know what mindset they're going in unless it's something blatantly like, you know, well, yeah. or George Carlin, he was never kidding. Yeah. He was dead serious. <laughs> well, <laughs> the new comedians yeah. are uh, <laughs> not racist, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> But, um, that, I mean, that was really funny. I'd like to see more from this guy. He, yeah. It, you know, it, it always comes with the territory if you're outside. I think the only one we've never not gotten stuff of his is Veer Das. It's just right, we track with him all the time. Yeah, he, probably. he's such a good communicator. Yeah. Uh, and so, it, the, well, and again, like you said, it's not his fault we didn't get the cultural jokes. Yeah, that's, and that's he, us. He was probably telling it to a room full of Indians, one hundred percent, who were obviously getting the joke. Yeah, and he was, he was, he owned the room. He had him. Yeah, yeah, and, and 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 all the stuff that he said that we, most of the stuff like we got, he was he was really funny. I think I liked him. I, I liked him a lot. I'd love I'd like to, to see more of his stuff. I'd like to see more from him, and if he has some uh, some other sets, uh, because you know we love this. And this is one last question I have about this as well. Here, what in, Rick? What's your question? Here in the U.S., stand-up comics back in the day, like in the '70s and the '80s, it was get on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, and you were going to have a huge break. Then it was David Letterman. What's that in India? Are, is there a platform for comics that if you get on that talk show or you do that gig, that's your big break? I would love to know. Well, it's different now. In America, even there's no. Oh, it is now. It's there isn't one like there isn't a Johnny, there isn't a Letterman. Even if you got on, say, Corden or uh, 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 Jimmy Fallon, it would be a big deal. But it wasn't like it was. It was it was a game changer for your career back in the day with Johnny Carson and David Letterman. Yeah, it was huge. Yeah. 
let us know.